We've got two people on today, so it's going to be uh, going to be an interesting one. We've got a Barnes fan and a Peterborough fan. Uh, we all know Ryan and uh, watches the tax TV. Also know Jacob, done some uh, uh, previous video before. We all seem to come up with clashes. So Ryan and Jacob, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you taking your time out. Uh, Ryan, just come to you first before we get to the Peterborough game. I mean Bristol Rovers game, one no top, one apiece, and lucky to. Really come away with a point, I think. Ryan. Very lucky, yeah. Very lucky to come away with a point. But Bristol were clearly a better team. We did, we started well, we started well. Um, you know, great goal back, hadn't it? Really, what a great strike. But then we just, I, I don't know, it was completely different to the Saturday before, wasn't it? So, um, Bristol had a lot of decent chances and probably should have won quite comfortably if, 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 if we're being honest. Mm. But I think any point on road is a good point. But we can't we can't perform like that against Peterborough. We we we, we can't. Need, so. need to be more solid at back, don't we? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, Jacob, you're doing well. Uh, two wins out of two, I believe. Um, yeah. I, have you you know have you been playing with games what you've seen via Peterborough? Is it you know better than expected, or do you think? Mm, oh yeah. You know what? Yeah. Because Ferguson said we're way ahead of expectations than we should be. So I think two wins to start the season is brilliant. Two one nil wins as well. Um, we look a lot more solid team this year because we're, we're trying. We're, the last two games we've had, we've, we've, we've dug out results, which something we didn't have last year. Um, and I think the goalkeeper Billy Capic is an absolute quality signing for us. Um, he's only young, but what he's shown so far is he, he's got passion for a goalkeeper and, he's, and he comes out for crosses. So something we didn't have last year as well. So yeah, it's been a good start to the season for us. And of course, I think tomorrow is going to be our toughest game yet. So. Mm. Yeah, an interesting yeah. test. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan, I mean, Peterborough. We know what kind of a side they are. I mean, they came to Walkwell last game of the season. Some people yeah. said that Duff were making some changes and didn't want to focus too much on on the uh, you know the playoffs kind of thing. But again, you can't like take any team for granted in League One, can you? Especially Peterborough. No. So if I was going to crop up with pace and score a goal or two, aren't we? Absolutely. I mean, the attack at pace, the attack at pace, the, the frightening when they go, the frightening when they go forward. Um, and we saw that against, uh, obviously against Chef Wednesday at first leg. It, was, it, you know, it was unbelievable that game. Mm. Um, and the game before at Oakwell, you know, play, to be fair, they played us off path, didn't they? So, mm. um, when we beat them at Peterborough, it was still Grant McCann, wasn't it? And I think he was struggling at that point a little bit. Um, but since Ferguson's come back in, yeah, yeah, they're good, good side. I mean, it's going to be his biggest test yet, obviously. Um, probably a little bit too early in the season to be having a, a test like that. Uh, you know, I think it's de Peterborough definitely going to be one of the teams that are up there. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see what we'll have to see come to. It depends. De de obviously, we we know that there's uh, there's been some bids coming, aren't there? Through um, on we've heard on the news that there's some bids coming. Whether that has an effect on who starts and who don't start tomorrow night, and mm -hmm. what that means to starting eleven. Oh no, we'll have to well we'll have to wait and see what we'll the team sheets come out. Yeah, that'd be interesting to call that, yeah. Uh, with transfer rumours and that knocking about. I mean, Jacob, Peterborough, you know, like you just said, via one note wins, but again, more solid, more sure Duke Ferguson seems to be getting them clicking and playing okay. We've just been on about it, you know, some interested uh, parties interested in Calm Styles, uh, Bristol City and Coventry. I think Coventry is going to be in for, running for that. Are you concerned at Peterborough that you could like Potential lose a player or two before window shuts. Yeah, I'm. I think our posh fans are still shocked how we have still got hold of Ronnie Edwards. To be fair, because as you, he's a quite he's a quality defender for this level. Mm. Should he should be playing Championship at least. Mm. Um, Clark Harris, no bids has come in for him yet, but I'm actually glad because he, he he's he's a proper target forward. He'll get goals in this level, so. Even though he still hasn't scored in the first two games yet, if he stays, he can. I can guarantee he can get at least twenty goals again this season. Yeah. Carrying on from that, uh, Ryan, we just uh, what Jake's been about via. That's going to be a worry for me. We are defence at minute. If we get bullied about it back and up in space, I, I could see us like conceding a, a couple, like you know, last season. Yeah. And last season. Yeah, if you've got someone with the experience of um, of Clark Harris and his strength. If he starts bullying them young lads about me, I don't think we'll know what to do with him. I like um, him as a player, me, Clark. Yeah, I he's brilliant, mate. He, he's really good. He's got the dark arts down to a T as well, like Norwood had. 
mm. no knows when to do the little nudges and the shows when referee is not looking. It's a, it's perfect, isn't it? It's what you want from your it's what mm. you want from your experienced centre forwards. The thing um, is with Clark Harris though, another thing, he is quite lazy, but I can guarantee you'll get about twenty five goals. But the one mm. thing you've got to worry about him is he's quite lazy sometimes. Yeah, I get I get that, but as long as long as he's scoring, he can be as lazy as he wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> if he's lazy and he wants to get goals. Yeah, if he was lazy and he wants scoring, his laziness might be a problem. But we might uh, have to stock him up with some energy drinks and give him a case one say you go and see what he can yeah, do. He's he's <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to see who starts tomorrow, mate. Who, who, who lines up tomorrow? Um mm. and how we line up. Hopefully, you know, so chronic Doug O'Kane saying that there's they're still not holding out. Much hope for Diggy Vinny starting tomorrow, hmm. but we could ideally do him starting tomorrow, couldn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah so we've got actual specialist centre back in there. Um, he said they're plugging the gap with uh, with Jordan Williams because I do, I, I don't think it's right to play no. uh, Jack Shepard in there, he's just not got the experience yet. Like I said, coming up against that experience, Peter, the front line, he'll, he'll, he'll get bullied and it'll probably destroy his confidence as well. If all else, true, I mean, Jack Shepard come Ryan and it was sloppy for development. Uh, side one originally, but because the situation now things have happened at back, it's it been thrown which, into yeah. it, thrown into yeah. it, hasn't it? So which it will, it will be for the development team. But this will yeah. do his, this will do his progress, no no harm whatsoever. You know, mm. well, it might do depending on what happens. But hopefully, he'll get some decent experience under his belt. But obviously, he's not he's not the answer. Mm. Um, still looking right, for we'll players. We'll see I think I think I still think we need to bring another centre back in me personally, yeah. uh, okay. or at least try and get. Uh, McCarthy and Cundy back one or two, hmm. um, get them back and get them fit. Although, personally, I don't think Cundy's the answer. I like Conor McCarthy when he was yeah. playing last season. I, th- I thought he were all right. I know a few fans gave him a bit of stick, but I thought he were actually. I thought he were actually really all right. Hmm. And then obviously he got that really unfortunate injury. But um, yeah. I don't think Cundy. But again, I, I prefer those to be in than plugging a gap with a non centre back player or just someone that's played there in past. Because yeah. then that allows us to push William out and right Williams out and right where he should be. Where he should be, move pace. Yeah, because as much as Cotter's got a bit of flair in him and stuff like that, he has he's got nowhere near as much experience as John. Do Williams. you know what? We caught the same player. We caught her. I called it out yesterday, mate. I rate him as a going forward, but from tracking back is he's terrible, mate. No, I, I, at least he leaves so gaps many gaps and really gaps in. now that left you know, our our right there left. He, he That's my worry gaps. against Peterborough tomorrow, but that yeah, is my worry about because they will they will exploit that. Oh, massive. Uh, Jacob, Peter Raven, I mean, just been on about bounds as players, you know, potentially we need some areas like to cover up and make sure we're all right. Uh, for Peter Beside, would you would you like to see a couple of more players, more additions coming in before transfer window shuts or are you pretty oh, happy with your business? 100%. We need we need, we need another striker because the backup striker got Shimango. He is hopeless. He started <laughs> the game on Tuesday in Swindon. He couldn't mm. he could, he could hold the ball up. He didn't He couldn't move. It was awful, and then Saturday he came on and should have scored a hat trick. Only only about five <laughs> minutes. So we need a striker, and we need a and we need a better back. Um, who we had on from Swansea last year because every, every posh fan wants him back. So yeah, hopefully we get a better in, but we need another is he, striker. Is he getting a game, Jacob? At, at Swansea, is he getting a game at the moment? Well, Swansea just signed another left back, so and he's injured until September. So we have this thing called like, the posh spaces on Twitter. Um, and Dara said Dara was was on on one of them, and he said, "Well, our bet is injured until sem- September. We we're waiting for him, so mm-hmm. I don't know about yeah. that. So yeah, hopefully we can get him back. But cool. I, that, now as long as he just signed the left back, it could dampen his game times. And we've got um we should and ideally in our team, we're going for more younger players this year because of our financial issues, and it'd be yes. perfect yes. Yes. perfect for our system. So." Hopefully, and we have knowing club as well, kind of thing. It's pretty easy slotting and all, Jacob, shouldn't it? Really, if you've had him before, so not early. So it should be a, a win win for Peter. But yeah, I mean, Ryan Jacob be, be more or less highlighted via with you know, uh, financial constraints about club with players what we're limited to sign and stuff like that. Ryan, uh, coming to game again, we know there's you know, styles have been linked and Adam Phillips potentially could come back, which I think he will. I think he'll replace him. Absolutely. And I think if Styles isn't involved in, you know, first team affairs, I, I think that's him more or less gone. Um protecting him for a potential move. Would yeah. you make any more changes though? I mean, I know we're limited to what we can do, but I'd like to change his front two if I'm being honest, uh, Ryan. 
Um, I probably leave Cole in just because just he's his most experienced striker and he's obviously got the hat trick. You know, mm. I, I think I just don't think he got any service on Saturday. Mm. Uh, I probably leave Devante in and but I bring I bring Dallas in at side of him. Yeah, and we even I bring I bring Dallas in. Yeah. Um, and, and then, then we else on pitch. Well, yeah, Phillips is going to come in for style uh, for Styles, isn't it? Uh, Phillips is going to come in because you know I think Styles, I think he will be going more. I can't mm. see him risking him playing him and risking if it, if all happens to him on that night, that's that sale gone on it. So, yeah. um, I think Phillips will come back in, which I think is the right thing to do anyway because Phillips is staying with us and we need to be developing his players that are staying with us, don't we? And making yeah. sure that they're getting the most game time. Mm. Um, I'd like to see. I really would like to see the give Nick start. At centre back, so we can push Williams out to the right, but I don't think he's going to get his international clearance in time, is he? No, I don't like it. It, no. it looks like it's probably going to be Saturday, isn't it? Mm. Um, so no, I'll probably just leave it as it is. It's a shame Corey O'Keefe's still got a bit of a thigh strain because I think he's he's. I like to meet for I, I think he's a, I think he's a better player than 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 Carter. I believe you know what I mean. I think. Mm. I think he, you know, if if Williams does stay to end the transfer window. I think once transfer, well, you know, if we know we know we're staying. Mm. I think you'll see one of Cotter or O'Keefe go out and loan, and I think it probably might uh, be Cotter. Cotter, yeah, I, I'm aware of him, but I, so I like just Keith. A bit of development with his defensive side because he's not wrong with his attacking flair. No, <laughs> Absolutely, it's just positional I mean, when he's getting back in. His it. final ball's not always there, but he's doing the right things and getting into the right areas to put the ball in. And he's got loads. He's got bags of skill, hasn't he? Mm. Mm. Just good track back, and that's no, no good for a wing back. I think he's more. I think he's more a right winger than a wing back, is if you know what I mean. Because he likes that like, attacking, but yeah. tracking back is is not all there. So yeah, a couple of change on weird on back. Right? Kavari. Kavari used to be like that, didn't he? No, oh, Kavari yeah. used to be like that. Brilliant to going forward, it? right back again, right. Brilliant to going forward, but never never, ran back. never, never got back. <laughs> Frustrating as hell, but uh, yeah, Ryan. So I mean, we've more or less like agreed on uh, front two. Jacob, what you know? Would you be making any changes? Is there any injury concerns that you picked up, uh, Peterborough? Well, we had Mason Clark injured um, last week uh, to eat his hamstring, but he could be declared fit tomorrow, which is huge for us. He's, I don't care what people really say, but he's the mm. best winger in, by, in this league by a mile. Mm. He's got he's got everything you want for a winger. He's got strength. He's got he's got he's got he's got good dribbling. He's got he's good shooting. He's got he's, he's our captain as well, so he's got good leadership qualities. Um, he what he probably won't start tomorrow, but. He might be on the bench, so that's good news for us. Um, mm. With, of course, Jando Fuchs on the field, just got injured as well on Saturday, so I doubt he'll be playing as well. So, apart from that, it's fine. So, again, my concern, Ryan, uh, you know, we'll get to the scores and more influential player. My concern with Peterborough is going to be the pace. Uh, yeah. If we don't show up, as, I won't say as wing backs as such, because it's not fair on Karen, because Karen has been doing well. It's more of an eight-hand side I'm concerned about for Barnsley at the minute. Um, and now he's if he can break yeah. away and get through with gaps what happened against Bristol yeah. Rovers, Ryan. Williams has, always, Williams has always had loads of pace down there. He's got loads of pace. And he's not right yeah. centre-back, in he there? But then again, if he goes out to that wing-back, then he leaves the gap, doesn't he? Yeah. Kitchen's got plenty of pace, but he's on opposite side of the thing. Yeah. Uh, and so is Cadden, but it's just, yeah, yeah. I don't think pace will, uh, pace will be that much of an issue. It's, it's more, really, in, in tracking back, in it? Mm. Um, what score and influential player for you been on on night? Well, I think well, you, people will say you always want to have a win, don't you? you always want to win a game. Mm. Um, I think with Peterborough winning both first game, both their first games, we want to stay in touch with that sort of top um, part. Although it's too early on to to start talking about mm. league positions, but we don't also we want to make sure we're putting points on board. So ideally, I want to win. But honestly, I think. Just with what's been hanging over the club a little bit over the last couple of days, probably, you know, a little unsettling things about the stuff in the news about um, transfer bids coming in and things like that. I'm just, I'm thinking it'll probably be a draw uh, at best, I think. And yeah. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm a very positive fan, but I'm trying to be realistic. Mm. I think if we don't get beat, it'll be it'll be okay if we don't get beat. Ideally, we need to win, but I'm going to say a 1-1 one, one draw. 1-1 one, one draw. Jacob, uh Fair journey up for your midweek game as well. Um, what score prediction and what do you think will be play what we need to keep an eye on? I don't what what I want to watch for you or for us, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, three, three, yeah. I'd look out for Pocky, um, our right winger, cross mm. winger. Um, 
I don't know. Um, I'd look out for Poppy, the main one. Because he's, I think he's, he's young as well. He's a quality player for this level. Hmm. Um, oh, Joel, Joel Randall. Joel Randall. Of course, last two seasons, he's he came from Exeter, where he was only like a young guy, 20 years old at least. Now he's 23. Fergie's given him the preseason he wants. He's, he's trying to get his confidence back a bit. And the last three games, he's, he's been exceptional. Of course, he scored his first goal on the Tuesday. And the track crowd was so happy for him. So, last season, he looked dead and buried. He looked like he looked like he just lost his confidence. Um, mm. But, yeah, this season, he's took it he's took it up a step and his confidence looked like he's growing back, back more. So, I'd look out for him as well. Mm, Sounds like a new player for you, a new sign, isn't it? What score yeah. prediction going to be for you, Jacob? What score? I'd, I'd take a win all day long, but mm. I, realistically, I think it'd be one one as well. Um, one one. I'd take a one one draw every every day of the week just mm. because tough great tough ground to go. I wish I wish it'd be a bit like last year, but it's not going to be that last year. You never know. You never know. Oh, you can never I finish football? <laughs> yeah, you one, never know. One one's I think realistic the prediction. Yeah, one one. Right. Um, I get. I think it's going to be a tight game. Real tight game. Um, Again, we're back at Oakwell. We're going to get back to winning ways. You always want to win. Peter Revo, two wins under the belt. We know what we did last last season, his last home game at season. I'm going to go 2 1. I don't know if that's made or my art and what's going to be saying that. <laughs> I think it's going to be a close game. It'd be interesting for me as well. And I haven't seen it yet this season. What happens if we go down a goal first? See how do we react? Because we all know last season when it happened to us, be back with it. We weren't one down, down, and it looked like a different game. We never got back into it. Never won. Yeah. Well, well again, as, as the stats lie, Neil, we haven't come from behind to win since November 20, 2021. We didn't yeah. come from behind to win all last season. No, we didn't. So that's going to be a draw, but we didn't one. come back. We haven't won a game that it would have won a game. Yeah. Derby at home, November 2021, mate. So if we go behind, be interesting, wouldn't it? Uh, we can actually get it over the line. We don't, we don't seem to be able to be doing it for the next, it's the best part of two years, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm going 2 1. I think our important playing at night is going to be dependent. Well, Luke Connell's not going to be in. I'm going to be going for such as like Herbie Kane, I think, in midfield. I think he needs to get a grip in it in midfield. Adam Phillips come back, he could be a goal threat. We know what he can do. But again, yeah. being, being art. Yeah, it'll have been training, but it's still not the same. It's, you know, serving that free game ban from Wembley uh, final. So, yeah, for me, I'm thinking it's going to be a Kane who's going to be our important player at night, as well as possibly <sighs> Kitchen. I think Kitchen needs to have his edit right place. I know he's been rumoured and linked with moves and that. And if, he's not, if his head's not in right place at time, he could either lose it and get pick up a silly booking, or he could go missing. And as a captain, you need him to be there. So I want to say skipper in team, isn't it? Yeah. He, needs to, he needs to be that leader, doesn't he? Especially against teams like Peter. Well, it's not going to be an easy ride, is it, against Peter? No. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Ryan and Jacob, uh, appreciate you taking time out and getting your thoughts uh, about Peter and Barnes, obviously, players and score predictions. Um P uh, people from Peterborough travelling up have a safe journey. It's midweek game. It's a fair trek for you. Uh, you'll, you'll be wanting to go back down with three points. And who knows under lights? I always like night games. Me, it's always something different when Best, the lights are on. Yeah. But yeah, just don't weather's going to be decent, and they're not going to be chucking it down with rain. <laughs> don't want that. It's not fair for uh, fans and that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Let us know your comments. Let us know score predictions. Who influential players going to be on night for us? Uh, but yeah, Ryan and Jacob appreciate you taking time out. Have a safe journey. And uh, one thing left to say you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>